All right, so the college football AP poll just got released. We are we're really close to the start of football. August 27th is when week zero starts. So week zero is like all those games that are like before, like week one, and they like try to like, you know, let me let me just show you. So you know how, like here, Saturday, August 27th, like that's a whole week before week one. And then Thursday is when like week one starts. But like these games would be considered like week zero. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. And none of these teams are good. I mean, like, the best team I hear is, like, maybe Florida State, and they're not even that good. So, anyway, um, but the real fun actually is Friday when, uh, when I'll be at IU versus Illinois. That'll, that'll be a lot, of, uh, a lot of fun. And then week one, there's a ton of good games. We'll eventually get to do picks, but for now, that's, that's a bit of ways. But they came out with the AP poll. And uh, I, I kind of want to talk about it. Um, now, here's the thing. The AP poll, the preseason AP poll, doesn't mean a damn thing. But um, people are going to talk about it, uh, like me. Um, but I saw it last year. Only, only they said only 14 of the 25 teams ranked in the preseason were ranked at the end of the season. So... Interesting. I also saw another thing that said the the national champion for college football in the play in the playoff era every year has been in the top six. So I mean, I guess these six teams are the only teams with a chance. I don't know. Michigan was unranked last year and made the playoff. Um, so that was pretty cool. Indiana was ranked seventeenth to start the year and finished two and ten. So uh, we're gonna go through all of these teams, and we're gonna say either overrate, overranked, overrated, underrated, or properly rated. So, yeah, let's see what we got here in these rankings. So number one is Alabama. I'm gonna say that's properly ranked. Um, they are gonna be the best team in college football. It is gonna be extremely hard to beat them, like it pretty much always is. Is, is pretty much almost impossible to beat Alabama every single year. They when was the last time they even had they had like two losses well like a few years ago and they like made the Citrus Bowl. Everyone was like, oh my God, it's the worst season they've ever had. So I mean, they'll be lucky to get one loss if any losses this year. Um, so I mean, think about it. They had what like most of their team is returning. I mean, the only people they really lost were like Jamison Williams and John Mechie. They still have Will Anderson. They still have Bryce Young. They still have. Nick Saban, they still have a lot of amazing players, um, and they're still Alabama, and they're returning the majority of their team that made it to the national title and probably should have won the national title. They caved in that fourth quarter against Georgia. So I'm going to say properly rated for Alabama. Ohio State at number two, I'm going to also say properly rated. They lost Chris Olave and Garrett Wilson, but if you ask me, I think those, I think they still have their best receiver from last year, Jack, Jack Jackson Smith Najigba, or however you say his name. I mean, the dude was going off all year, um, and I expect him. And they're like, in the one game they played against Utah, they're like, oh, well, how's he gonna do being the only receiver? He caught like three. He had went for like 350 yards on like 17 catches and had like four touchdowns. I mean, it was nuts. They're gonna be good. They're gonna be the favorites to win the Big Ten. That's another team. They lost two games last year. Went to Oregon and to Michigan. And it's like, oh my God, the world's ending. Blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, properly rated Ohio State. Georgia, your defending national title winners. They lost the majority of their defense. Like, I think they had what? Like, like at nine of their like starting defense got drafted or something like that. They're going to have to replace a lot on the defensive end. And I'm not sure if they're going to be able to do it. I mean, they're still going to be a good team. I think they'll be a top 10 team. But I want to say they're a bit overranked at three. I think they're still a good team, top 10 team. I just think they're a little overranked at three. They're still going to have – isn't Stetson Bennett starting this year? I think 
correct me if I'm wrong, pretty sure he is. Um, they're going to have a great running back. They're going to have a lot of great stuff, but they lost a lot of people from that national title winning team. They are by no means the same team. I'm going to say they're a little overranked here. I'd probably put them around in like the six or seven range. But yeah, Clemson, massively overranked. I'm sorry, Clemson fans. But the ukuleles is not working at quarterback. I mean, he's just not. I mean, DJ Ugulele is just, he's just not very good. I mean, I said he was going to win. I said he'd be better than Trevor Lawrence. Yeah, that was uh, not good. He's just hes just not great. He's just not. I'm, I mean, I'm sorry. I, I don't want to be the ones to tell you that. But, I mean, I put you guys at like, 11 max. I don't think that 4 is appropriate for Clemson. Um, I think, I would say they're probably still the best team in the ACC. That's not saying much. I mean, that's really not saying much. Who did they lose? They lost to Georgia last year, and then they lost to who else? They lost to NC State, and they lose to Pitt. I think they lost to Pitt. But yeah, I mean, I'm going to say overranked for, for Clemson. Notre Dame at five. Notre Dame's definitely going to be a good team this year. First year head coach. Um, what's the dude's name? Oh my god. Freeman. Um, the coach for Notre Dame. Um, I, what's his name? I'm drawing a blank on his name. Who's the head coach for Notre Dame? Their defensive coordinator last year. What is his name? I, I don't know why I'm drawing a blank on his name. Marcus Freeman. There we go. He, I think, he will be a better coach than Brian Kelly. Because Brian Kelly's not a good coach. He's just not. He's not. I'm sorry, LSU. You, you, you hired a bad coach. Um, I mean, he's just not... He can't, he can't win a major bowl game. Marcus Freeman almost did so um, as interim head coach for the Fiesta Bowl. Lost to Oklahoma State. But, but yeah, I think they're going to be a good team. What's their schedule looking like? I know they play Ohio State week one, and that's going to be a really fun game. They do play Clemson, too, and USC, and BYU. So they, they play four preseason ranked teams. The rest of these teams are not very good. Marshall, Cal, North Carolina, Stanford, UNLV, Syracuse, Boston. But they do have they have some so I mean week one against Ohio State, that's gonna that's gonna be a really good, important game. I think they're gonna be good. I'm gonna go with slightly overranked here. I don't think they're a top five team. I don't think they're a top five team. Um I just I, I feel like they're going to have a hard time with some of the tougher teams that they play. Um, but we'll see. Texas A&M at six. That is a little higher than I thought they would put them. I thought they'd put A&M a little lower. Um, they had a monstrous recruiting class. This incoming A&M recruiting class is the best the best recruiting class in the history of college football, like via ratings wise. I don't really know how that works, but they're they're all young, so they're not going to immediately come in there and win a national title. I think. Here's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say not this upcoming year, but next year, a And M will win the national title. But this year, I think they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna be really good. They're gonna be a really good team. Um, they kind of had issues at quarterback last year. The the King, Haynes King, he, he got hurt. At one point, they had the Calzone come in, uh, Calzada, and he played pretty well. But they lost to some, like, some clunkers of teams that they really shouldn't have lost. Like, they lost to Mississippi State. Um, they lost another game, too. Didn't, didn't they, like, barely beat Colorado? I mean, their defense was great last year, but their offense kind of, they do have a new quarterback coming in, transfer from LSU, Max Johnson, who I am high on. I think he will be a very good quarterback. I think they're, I think they're a 
the second best team in the SEC behind Alabama. I would put them ahead of Georgia. Um, so I'm going to say properly ranked, maybe a little under ranked for AM, but I, w- I would put them at four. Um, I might make my own top 25 just, just for the hell of it. But yeah, Utah. I must say properly ranked. They're going to be a really good team. They they won the Pac-12 last year, and basically no one was really close to beating them. Um, they lost a few games early in the year. I know they lost to BYU, and I think they lost to someone else early on in the year. But they went on a tear after that. They ran through everyone in the Pac-12, mopped, I mean destroyed Oregon twice. And then they played Ohio State in the Rose Bowl and were up big in that game. They really should have won that game. They kind of lost at the end. But here's the thing. They returned pretty much everyone from that team. They returned pretty much everyone from that team that that made the Rose Bowl and almost beat Ohio State. And if you look at the schedule, it is – I mean, are they losing any of these games? Are they – tell me, tell, tell me. I don't think they're losing to Florida. I don't. Florida's they're not good. Southern Utah that should be a win. Uh, San Diego State, Arizona State, Oregon State, UCLA, USC. I mean the toughest team is probably Oregon, and we saw what they did to Oregon last year. So I'm telling you, I'm thinking Utah. They're gonna have a really good chance at going 12 and 0. If they go 12 and 0, they'll probably make the playoff. So. So, yeah, Utah, legit top 10 team, properly rated. Um, Michigan, I'm going to say I'm gonna say properly rated. Um, they, what's it called? Yeah, they're, they're a good team. I mean, they made the playoff last year and kind of laid an egg against Georgia. Um, that was pretty disappointing. But they finally beat Ohio State. I mean, I know that's all they really care about is beating Ohio State. So, uh, good for them. I think, I think they're probably. I think they'll be back in the top ten. I know they return a lot of players. Who, who, who did they got on their schedule this year? Wow, pretty much no, pretty much nobody of note until Ohio State at Iowa will be a tough game. Are you is IU gonna beat them? Probably not. Um, but yeah, they they don't have that hard of a schedule. I'd I'd say top ten for Michigan, Oklahoma. Okay, here's our first one. Massively, massively over. I don't even know if I would have them ranked in my poll. I mean, they, they no, they, they, they just no. Um, they're they're not a good team. Um, they they started that that wow. Spencer Rattler is the worst quarterback of the country. You can't tell me otherwise. Um, and then they went to Caleb Williams, and Caleb Williams was doing really well. Um, and then he left for USC, and so did most of their team. To be honest with you. Um, so, yeah, Oklahoma, I'm sorry. I know you got Brett Venables coming in as your coach, but, I mean, you do have an easy, I mean, a somewhat easy schedule. I mean, it's the Big 12. I mean, yeah, I'm sorry. You're, you're, you're overrated. You're massively overrated. Like you, like you normally are. It's the same song and dance with Oklahoma. What always happens is they, they breeze through an easy schedule, and then they play a legit team, and they get exposed. That's just Oklahoma every year. Um, they're massively overrated. They shouldn't be anywhere near the top 10. Baylor. Okay, now Baylor won the Big 12 this past year, and they won the Sugar Bowl against against Ole Miss, and they are returning the majority of that team that went 10 and 2, and and won the Big 12. And I'm gonna say they're properly rated. Baylor will be a top 10 team this year. Um, they have a nice game at BYU, future Big 12 rivals, maybe. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say Baylor's a legit top ten team. I mean, they're returning, they're returning most of a team that was in the top ten. So, so Baylor's a top ten team. Why won't this load, bro? You're kidding me. Okay, there it is. Oregon at eleven. See, Oregon's a tough team because I feel they're always pumped up high in the in the preseason, and I feel like they'll do really well. At like the start of the year, and they'll get in that top ten range, and then they just, they just have had some bad finishes to years. I mean, they just can't finish out a good season. I feel like for their standards, they have Georgia defensive coordinator Dan Lanning coming in, and I think that was a great coaching hire. I think he's, I think he's good. I think if you hire, 
coaches like that, it's kind of hit or miss. Because, like, oh, Georgia was a great defensive team. Let's hire their defensive coordinator. It's like, well, they've had good defensive teams before they had. They, he wasn't the reason they were a good defensive team. But I think it was a good coaching hire. I'm, I'm going to say properly rated. I think they'll be a good team. Um, they got Bo, Bo Nix. I'm not, I'm not a big Bo Nix fan, but he's not bad. I think he's. I think he'll be better than who they had last year. I can't even remember who their quarterback was last year. But oh, they didn't they have like Anthony Brown as their quarterback? Or no, they had someone else. I don't remember. But I think Bo Nix will be an upgrade for that. I think they should get an upgrade. They they play Georgia week one. People are hammering Georgia to win that game. I'm not so sure that they will. I think that. I think that Oregon could have a chance to beat them. Just because Dan Lanning will know how to attack Georgia's defense, especially with Georgia starting a lot of younger guys, so I think that could be an. I don't know. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna say properly rated for Oregon. Oklahoma State. I feel like. The, I feel like every single year. Every single year, Oklahoma State is ranked like in the in the in the teens. Like every single year, they're ranked like 16, 17, 13. They're always in that range for like the whole year. So I mean, really, not much to say about Oklahoma State. Th- they'll be a good team. They won't be a top ten team. I don't think they're better than. I don't think they're. I don't think they're better than Baylor. I think they're at least the second best team in the Big Twelve. But Baylor, I think, will win the Big Twelve again. But yeah, I'm gonna say properly rated. NC State. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say overrated. I don't think they're. They're that good. I don't think they should be in the thirteen range. I mean, I mean, they got a good team, but are they really that? I know, I know they're gonna have a good team. I know people are high on NC State. Are they really going to be that good? Ask yourself right now. Do you really think NC State is a top 13 team? I bet you a lot of you second guess yourself. I'm going to say I'm going to say overrated. Okay, here's another one that belongs with Oklahoma. USC, entirely, completely overrated. I'm sorry. Lincoln Riley is not going to walk in there and turn things around year one. He's just not. What did the team go? Four and seven last year? You think a few Oklahoma transfers is going to is going to change that? Ooh, Caleb Williams. No, I'm sorry. Not not a top 25 team. USC, massively overrated. Michigan State at 15. Oh. I'm going to say... I'm going to say a little overrated. I mean, I don't think they'll be bad. I think they'll be a, a top... I'm a, I would put them in the 20 range. I'd, I'd put them at about 20. Um, I, think, I think they're going to be good, but they don't have Kenneth Walker anymore, who was really the catalyst for that offense last year. I'm going to say a little overrated, but they'll still be a good team. I can't with this next team, bro. I can't with this next team, dude. Miami, overrated. Every year, it's the same thing every year. Who do they play this year? I feel like Miami always plays like a bunch of weird teams every year. They play at a and I did not know that. Yeah, like, okay, like that. I mean, they're getting at least four losses. They'll lose to a and They'll lose to Clemson. I think they'll lose to Pitt. And then they'll lose one of those other games because they're Miami and they're always popping. Mario Cristobal. Here's the thing. Mario Cristobal at Oregon was always getting recruiting classes in the top ten, in top in top five. And yet he couldn't do anything with it. He could barely even win the Pac-12. He won the Pac-12 like once. And it was when Washington should have been there in that COVID season. Mario Cristobal is not a good coach. He's a good recruiter. He's not a good, he's not a good coach. So I think overrated. I'm Miami, dude, it's the same thing every year for Miami. Um, yeah, not 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 rated. Pitt. So, okay, so Pitt was what last year? Like in the teens with with Kenny Pickett and Jordan Addison. Uh, and now Jordan Addison's leaving. He's at USC now. Which, so, okay, pipe at USC. You're still not gonna be good. But I mean. I know they're still pretty good, but overrated pit. Um, Wisconsin, I'm going to say underrated. I feel like they, they're they going to field a good team this year. Um, they're always pretty good. They're returning quite a few people from last year. As long as – is Graham Mertz still their quarterback? Is, I feel – is Graham Mertz still their quarterback? Hold on. He is. Oh. If Graham Mertz is not their quarterback, they will be good. Um, because Graham Mertz is a terrible quarterback. He just is. I'm sorry. He had one good game against Illinois when, like, they had five quarterbacks hurt. And he threw for, like, five touchdowns. Like, this is our guy. Graham Mertz is not a, not a good quarterback. 
but I'm, I'm going to still say underrated. I think they can get up to like the 13-ish range. Um, Arkansas, here's another one. I'm going to say massively underrated. I have high, high hopes on Arkansas this year. I am all on the Arkansas bandwagon. I think, I think they have the potential to be in the top 10. I, I know, it sounds crazy, but they got K.J. Jefferson coming back. He was terrific last year at quarterback. And I know I was trailing Burks to the NFL. But, I mean, they had a – I think their their defense was all right last year. I think they'll take, they'll, they'll take a step forward. I think a good team last year that was ranked for the majority of the year and beat some good teams, they beat A&M, is returning a lot of their players. They had their star quarterback back. I'm going to say underranked for Arkansas. They play Cincinnati week one. I think they'll win that game. Um, if they can win – here's what I'm saying. If they can win one of these two – at a and or home against Alabama, which I wouldn't bet on either one. I, I wouldn't bet on them in either one of those. I think they could be they could be pretty good. The rest of their schedule, they should win all those. I mean, Mizzou, Ole Miss, I mean, Liberty, BYU, they should win those. So Arkansas, good team. Kentucky. I know Will Levis is coming back, and I know he's really good, and I know they had a good year last year, and they're returning a lot of the same people. I'm gonna say a little underrated. I think they're definitely better than they're 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 better than a lot of teams ahead of them. They're better than Pitt, they're better than Miami, they're better than Michigan State, they're better than USC. Pitt, Miami, the these five, NC State, USC, Michigan State, Miami, and Pitt, I think are all overrated. I think I think like Arkansas and Kentucky are better than all five of those teams. Um, so yeah, Ole Miss, overrated. Matt Corral is gone, and he was one saving hope for that team. I mean, you saw what happened when he got hurt in the Sugar Bowl and they completely collapsed in that game. They couldn't do anything on offense. I mean, I, I feel like Matt Corral worked really well with Lane Kiffin's style of offense. I just overrated. I'm sorry. I don't think Ole Miss will be ranked this year. I don't think they're that good. Plus, they're going to have a really hard schedule. They're going to be playing Arkansas, A&M, Alabama. It's the SEC West. You know what happens in the SEC West every year. Wake Forest, hmm. is Sam, that, the, the quarterback they had, Part, Sam Hartman, is he back? I am not sure if he's back. He is. Okay. I'm high on Wake Forest. This team made the ACC title last year. They were not a bad team. And this was looking like a pretty easy schedule. I mean, Vandy? I mean... I mean, the only games I think they could lose are be, would be Clemson and NC State. Um, and I, th- I think they're better than NC State, in my opinion. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm alone in that train of thought, but I think they're better than NC State. I, I think they are. I'm going to say underrated. I would definitely put Wake Forest in the teens. They had a good year last year. They had a real good year last year. I mean, for Wake Forest standards, they were really good. Seasons, seasons are based on expectations. So if Alabama's expected to win the national title, which they are, and they don't, then that's not a good season. But, like, if Wake Forest is expected to go, like, 5-7 and seven, and they rattle off, like, a 10-2 and two season, that's a good season. And they're returning a lot of people from that team. Okay. So, yeah, underrated Wake Forest. Cincinnati. Now, they obviously made the playoff last year. They were, I think, they were, they were, okay, People were like, ah, Cincinnati shouldn't have made the playoff because they got rolled by Alabama. First of all, they didn't even get beat that badly by Alabama. What was it, like 24-6? to 6? I mean, Alabama has beaten teams way worse in, in the playoff. Like, look, look what they did to Oklahoma. They beat Oklahoma by, like, 40. Um, so Cincinnati was, was one of the best teams in college football last year. They were a top-four team. They did lose the majority of their team, though. They lost Desmond Ritter. They lost they lost Alec Pierce, their top guy. They lost Sauce Gardner and Kobe Bryant. They lost a lot of their team to the NFL. But they're still going to have some people back. And they're still going to be a good team. I think 23 is properly rated for Cincinnati. They will be a good team. They won't be anywhere near as good as they were last year. But they will still have a very good, respectable team. And should be competing for the for their conference title. Houston. Hmm. I don't really know much about Houston. They were ranked in this area last year. I mean, I'm going to just say properly rated. And then BYU. Look at the schedule they have. 
this is a pretty tough schedule for BYU standards. I mean, Baylor, Oregon, Notre Dame, they play a lot of Arkansas. They play a lot of ranked teams. And it, ask yourself this. Are they beating Baylor? No. Are they beating Oregon? Probably not. Are they beating Notre Dame? Probably not. Are they beating Arkansas? Probably not. So, so you're playing, you're, you're, you already got four losses right there. And, I mean, they could probably beat those other teams, but will they be ranked at the end of the year? If I was a betting man, I'd say no. So, let's say overranked for BYU. Now, here's the thing. There are a lot of teams that receiving votes. So, teams, team, oh, you want to look at the FCS poll? North Dakota State. Okay. No one cares about the FCS. I'm sorry. The FCS is, is kind of fun to watch. I like Montana State. I, I, root, I root for Montana State in the FCS. Um, but, yeah. All right. So, who received votes? Now, the main thing here. And the, and the main team, the team that I think in this poll that I, I was shocked they weren't ranked, um, is Tennessee. I really thought Tennessee would be ranked because I'm going to make a bold statement here. There's one person on earth that agrees with me, JT Sports. It, uh, he knows what I'm about to say if he's watching. Hendon Hooker okay, will win the Heisman. He will. I will say that right now. It will be either him or Jackson Smith in Juco. It's going to be between those two, in my opinion. Because every single year, ESPN or whoever puts who's supposed to win the Heisman, and look what happened last year. Spencer Rattler got benched. <laughs> they had him winning the Heisman, got benched. Um, the, the ukulele, no. Um, Bryce Young ended up winning basically by default because no other quarterbacks had a good year. The, honestly, the Heisman should have been Will Anderson last year. Will Anderson had the best defensive season in, in college football. Better than Aiden Hutchinson. Um, that's, I mean, Will Anderson's the best player in college football. I think he is. I don't think he won the Heisman, though. I think Hendon Hooker will win the Heisman because it's a QB award. And and he he was terrific at Tennessee last year. And they're returning most of their team. They had a pretty good team. I'm going to say Tennessee is massively underranked. I would put them in the teens. I would put them, like, where, where USC is. Massively underrated. I know they had the most votes, but like, how, how did BYU get more, get way more votes? What? So they had two hundred thirty-four points. They just only had one hundred eighty. You tell me, BYU's that much better than Tennessee? Really? Tennessee massively underrated. Texas. Yeah, they're properly ranked, as in not being ranked, which is what they will be at the end of the year. Look, 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 look at the coaches poll. This is the coaches poll. Look where they had Texas. At 18, and I don't know who, I don't know who, who, who put Texas at number one? I, I need to know who put Texas at number one. They're, they're not bad. They're, no, no, stop. They're not going to be good. They're, they're, they're Texas. They're going to find a way to lose five games. No, stop it. Te Texas is not a good team, and they won't be for a long time until Arch May. Maybe. Maybe Arch Manning can save Texas. How about this? I'm, I'm like, if Texas beats Alabama, they're back. If, they, if you beat Alabama, you just beat Alabama, and then you're back. Iowa? I feel like they could be ranked at some point. Penn State? Okay. LSU? Not a good team. They will not be good. I mean, they're going to get eaten alive in the SEC West. Brian Kelly cannot handle the SEC. He, that will be the worst coach in hand from this past offseason. Um, Fresno State got 32 votes. I know they were a pretty good team last year. Uh, didn't they beat, who did they beat? They beat like UCLA or something last year. Fresno State would be a good team. Minnesota, I don't know. U, UCF, they lost Dylan Gabriel. Dylan Gabriel's the quarterback at Oklahoma, but man, is he, is he really that good? Is Dylan Gabriel that good? I don't think so. Here's a team, and I hate to say this because I'm literally on, I'm in Bloomington, Indiana, on IU's campus right now. I think Purdue's massively underrated. I think Purdue will be, I'm tempted, I was tempted, I, I think Purdue's a top 20 team. I, I think, I yes, I think they're, they're a top 20 team. I mean, they, they were they were really good last year. Um, they, they beat some pretty good teams. Um, and they're returning a lot of their team. Their quarterback's back, Aiden O'Connell. I mean, 
I think they're massively limited. I think Purdue should have been ranked. I don't know how they only got 17, 17 points or votes to be ranked. I, I, I think Purdue's massively limited. Here's another one. Mississippi State. They were turn, they're returning almost their entire defense, and their quarterback, Will Rogers, is back. I think they're going to be a really respectable team. I think I, I, think I, would, I would rank them. I would rank Mississippi State. And those are two teams I hate. I hate Purdue, and I hate Mississippi State. But I think both of those teams are going to be really good this year and should be ranked. Um, Auburn, not going to be ranked. Um, well, their, their coach is an idiot. Um, oh, you almost beat Alabama last year. Congrats. That's why. And then, and then you got mopped by Houston in the Burger Bowl. Bowl. So Auburn won't be good. Um, who else we got? Kansas State. I'm impartial to Kansas State. I know they have their running back, Deuce Vaughn. I know he's a really good running back. Could be one of the best running backs in, in college football. But, like, are they a top five team in the Big 12? Probably not. Um, Florida. I mean, they're Florida. Um, North Carolina, eh. I mean, I mean, maybe. Uh, maybe they're good. Boise State, Boise State's kind of the same team every year. They're always a really good team. Um, they almost beat Oklahoma State last year. I, I mean, the fact that I feel like they get more than five votes. So the fact that they only got five votes, I would say, I would say underranked for Boise State. Appalachian State, now they play North Carolina week one. This is going to be an interesting game. We'll see about App State then. I would say properly rated. Air Force got four votes. I'm, I'm not really sure about that. Um, I don't know how good Air Force is going to be. South Carolina. How did they get any votes to be ranked? I mean, they, they, they just got a, a terrible quarterback to be their quarterback. Spencer Rattler. He's a terrible quarterback. He's, he's not good. Um, he, he's a self-centered prima donna, and he will not be good this year. Um, yeah, the fact that they got any votes to be ranked, let alone two, Overrated. Utah State. I know absolutely nothing about Utah State. UCLA got two votes. I don't know anything about that. San Diego State. Okay. And then Nebraska got a vote. Nebraska won't be good, but um, I'm surprised they got any any votes to be ranked. But that's that's my thoughts on the AP poll. Let me know in the comments. Do you want do you want me to make my own poll? Do you want me to make my own? Because I feel like if I made my own poll, I think people would get upset. But, yeah, let me know if, if you want uh, the QBS poll. But, uh, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll see you later. What do you think of the AP poll? Let me, let, let me know.